There you have it. We got a little bit more of the end rods in place here, lighting up the central point of the castle. I want to start getting a little bit more of this floor done and start mapping this out for the next part of the castle. But of course, before we take on the inside of the castle, we're going to have to grab some resources from the storage room. And thankfully for us, the resources that we're going to need are actually going to be pretty easy to obtain. We're going to need a little bit of orange terracotta and yellow terracotta. We'll need a little bit of glass and a little bit of brown and black terracotta as well. I got a little bit of a floor design that I'm going to be putting inside of here. We'll see how it turns out. I'm going to have to try to see exactly where the middle point is. I got everything kind of like mapped out, but I'm pretty sure uh, this should have a double center, I think. So I might have to make things a little bit bigger. I'm not too sure exactly. But before we start working on this, I'm going to need to create a little bit of a floor. So I think I actually want to have the floor in line with the castle, of course. So I'm going to come around here and I'm going to build myself a little bit of a platform in order to put my floor on which should hopefully make this whole process much easier. Now that we have a platform in order to build on, I can actually get rid of my guideline here. So I'm going to keep the yellow here just so I know exactly where the floor design is going to be going. It kind of gives me a little bit of a frame of reference there so we can get rid of this. And I know what you guys are probably wondering. Why did I build a fl uh, this platform up higher than this platform? Well, later on down the road when we're building out our floor, we're going to be able to add depth into our floor and just having this small gap right here is going to make that process much easier. Getting a bit more of the floor design done here as we check on in. It's going to be perfectly lined up with the doorway, so hopefully we'll be able to see the actual floor design as we fly on in. But we got ourselves a wandering trader, so you know what that means. Are you freaking kidding me? He spawned underneath the platform. I didn't know that was possible for wandering traders, but... Anyways, let's see what he's got for us. Red button. We have Baldy. That's a, uh, he's a, I think this is, um, there's a guy on the, uh, on the Twitch channel. His name is uh, Gamerge. Looks just like him. We have the Thrash Lantern. We have the Robot. Astronaut. And the Mushroom Skeleton. So you guys have seen most of these in the last episode. But let me show you guys the new ones. Lay them out over here. We have this really cool lantern right here. We have a really cool button. And last but not least, Baldy. Wow. You can finally baby rage. With that out the way, let's get back to work. Almost done with the floor here. And you can see that it's nicely inside of this doorway making a little bit of a time lapse for you guys as i struggle with the colors but it's a little bit of the virgo b if you guys know you know but i'm trying to do a little bit of a thing right here where i'm trying to get it to a point where this makes sense so maybe get rid of this this guy goes i want to go with a brown b i'm probably also going to fade in a lot of this brown as well and then maybe even fade in a little bit of the black so there's not such harsh lines and stuff like that going on here so maybe by coming along and doing stuff like this uh potentially and then coming over here and then doing this kind of doing the same thing on both sides it might be more beneficial to kind of bring this guy down as well and then i've got a little bit of brown up in there too but this is kind of where we're at right now but as soon as we're done doing this, I get to build up the sides of the walls here. I might move where this roof is right here. I'm probably going to bring this guy out a few more blocks just to allow for us to have a little bit more space in here. And then I'm going to bring it all the way back to around this point where I'm actually going to start expanding out, like I said. More importantly, I kind of need to know where this whole thing is, like the sun because I have something big planned that's going to be going into the center of this room above the beat. You know when you build something and you didn't actually intend for it to happen? We kind of did that here. This kind of looks like a hardcore heart wearing a crown. So I kind of want to get in there and start adding some gold, which I think will look really nice. Definitely didn't uh, mean for this to look like a crown here. So I was think thinking about like alternating some stuff, adding a little bit of gold, because I think the gold actually kind of goes really well with this whole thing. You can come across here, maybe add that a little bit and make a like a little bit of a crown for the bee that kind of looks like it. Maybe this one comes down just a smidge like that. 
Let's see what that looks like. I think that's really cool. Let me know what you guys think inside the uh, the comment section down below. But I think that actually looks really nice. Kind of adds a little bit of something to the bee. We could incorporate in incorporate. We could incorporate more throughout the bee, but I think that's actually really subtle, and I like that a lot. Nice. I want to start filling out a little bit more of the floor around here, and we need to get underneath these wings because obviously that's not going to be stone. I'm going to be going with probably a dark terracotta underneath the black glass, and then we're probably going to go with a light blue terracotta potentially underneath this maybe some warp wood might look really nice to kind of give it like the veins of the bee i'm not 100 percent sure we'll try out a couple different things so oh and maybe like a white terracotta over here but i'm gonna work in a couple other little blocks underneath there got myself a couple things for underneath the wings but lapis is also a big resource that we need and these guys are ready to trade so you know what that means all right, so I have a couple things that I want to try down here, and I'm thinking underneath these guys, we could potentially use a little bit of warp wood, but I'm not really sure what I want to put underneath the the blues. So we're going to try out a couple things here. If I can even see which ones are different, like I can barely tell what's blue and what's not blue down here. I'm sure you guys definitely can't because there's no way you guys can see that. No way, not on YouTube. I think something like that potentially. And then I want to see what this thing looks like. Because these kind of look like the veins inside of a uh, inside of a wing. Could look neat. Could look stupid. Um, but if it looks stupid, then it's Twitch chat's fault. Hold on. I did miss a block, but let me see what this thing really looks like. I'm going to land up here. Hold on. I'm going to cut this all out. Yeah, I don't know about that. I use my expert ingenuity. I use my flipping. All right. I use my expert ingenuity. And I was able to come up with something I thought looked really nice. So now we're going to do that on this side. Yeah, going to be ice blocks on the blue. Like this. So I think this will really make the wings pop as much as possible. Um, I think that's all blue. And then we've got the mushrooms that are going to go underneath the white. Which I think is a nice little blend. It's not uh, nothing too crazy. And then we've got our light blue terracotta that's a little bit purpley. It's not too dark. I don't know what that is. I think that's, uh, I think that's supposed to be black glass. So we'll be able to come in here. And just fill that out and pop that there that guy goes there and let's see what they both look like now nice and while we're on the topic of doing pixel art and stuff like that i also changed up a little bit of the spider added a double hourglass to this guy which is i didn't know that black widows some of them actually have a double hourglass one on the bottom of its abdomen and one on the top of their abdomen and i think this looks really cool for bringing out the spider a little bit more so we can just visibly see it just a just a little bit more adds a little bit of life to it didn't mean to switch on my elytra there now that we have our center point down there on the floor these walls right here i'm actually going to push these guys out about four or five blocks to give myself a little bit more room to work with because as we work our way inside of here i'm going to push these walls back and then they're going to come out and then i want to try to line up another wall back here with like kind of like the center point of this so i can really bring it out and open up the castle so now that we've moved out this uh, roof peak a little bit here we're going to be filling this all in with lapis but since we don't have lapis i think what we could be doing is we're going to be alternating the chiseled blocks up in here so i can start bringing together this layer of the uh of the wall that way i can kind of visualize this a, a little bit better because there's obviously going to be a space in here i'm just hoping that everything kind of fits normal like fits like how we want it to fit so i have to go all the way around here and then we're going to build it all the way up We now have that central tower kind of built up a little bit without all the quartz pillars because we're kind of down bad for that. 
But that's what we're going to be utilizing the uh, villager trading hall for, as always. I think we're upwards to 100,000 villager trades. But looking at this thing now, we got a little bit of a box. I'm not really sure exactly where we're going to be ending off on up here. And there's obviously a lot of stuff that's going to be incorporated into the box. Like we're going to have like obviously windows and all that jazz. My bad. Totally just zoomed in on the back side of my head. Um, anyways, I got this thing laid out. Got my gravel in place. That's also where we're going to put another like additional wall that we can progressively start working towards. So I might actually like bring this out a little bit on like a like diagonal if as long as it doesn't interfere with that tower there and then we got that but this entire wall over here is going to be lapis this one over here is going to be lapis and i can tell you this much right now we don't have enough lapis while we figure out our lapis situation because we're hardcore struggling for that i'm starting to do a little bit of a design up the top here i'm thinking like doing like some sort of like crown to kind of like hold the sun in place would look really really cool but we got ourselves a wandering trader so you know what time it is now to only find the guy if i can find him kicking around here somewhere hopefully that is um easier said than done of course in the spider pit because you know how it is these guys have no self-preservation always by the creepers and stuff so let's see what we got oh we got a valkyrie really cool we have a wax seal of a red moon we have doug that's uh one of the ascended and we got a parrot i think these blocks are really cool blocks um and then as terms of for these guys I'm not interested. All right, time to take a look at what we got going on here. We have a Valkyrie. I thought this head looked really cool. Love the blue hair. We also got ourselves a uh, a parrot. I think this one's supposed to be placed on the side or something like that. It's supposed to be a parrot on a micro block type deal, or maybe it's not supposed to be placed on the side. Hold on, that looks kind of looks kind of jank. I thought that was really cute. Uh, these really cool micro blocks of like the crest, like they're wax seals. I think this looks awesome. And then we have Doug. His ascension head, finally. And those are the picks for today. That was... I realized it's map Monday. So you know what that means? I gotta go re-up uh, all my maps and stuff like that. So this is where we left off. This is week one. Week two. And then week three of the project. Time to update to week four. Okay, this time, before I mess it up, like last week, I'm going to duplicate all the maps. Make sure that we have a duplicate of this, and then we're going to lock them all up, and then we'll see exactly what we got going on here. There is a big sad story that's about to happen here, and you guys will notice in a minute. Um, super sucky stuff. Put our extra maps up in here. Try to keep them all in order so I don't, like, lose track of where we're at. Like that. And then we just pop them in here, and then these guys should all be locked. Last can go back. All right, time to see what we got going on here. So we'll start from the bottom up. It sees. Uh, it seems as if my shulker monster has grown a little bit from last week. It's a smidge. That is the unfortunate thing. The fact that we can't see the flipping bee on the map. That super sucks. Ugh. But there it is. This is week one. Granted, I only had two days to make that map. Week two. Week three. And then week four. Done. That's a pretty that's a pr that's a pretty substantial change. I've got like the the whole um uh what is that? A hexagon? Hexagon? Hexagon. Yeah, I got the whole hexagon there. You can see a little bit more of the detailing done. Obviously, we got the uh the entire floor almost ready to go in there. Oh, we added our spots. Wait. Uh, what the heck's that? Hold on, is that dirty? Yo, what's going on with this map? The hell? I feel like I need to clean it. That guy glitched? Uh-oh. Alright, that's why we make duplicates. That way I could take this map and then we can just, uh, you know, 
Hit it with a cheeky little boom. Uh, get that out of here. Put our duplicate back in there. And before we lock this guy, let's actually make sure that it's uh, rendered in over here because it's ridiculous. Come on, man. Oh, um, and then we'll pop those into there. Boom, done. I'm a professional. What is that? No, no, that, that, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. And with this little bit of lapis, we now officially hit 1.5 million villager trades, which puts us just over 100,000 villager trades since we started this project a couple weeks ago. But with over 100,000 villager trades, we still don't have enough lapis. So we might actually have to lose a little bit more wool on this one. But I'm going to start filling out the roof now. I think it's really going to make it look a lot better. Not too shabby. I think we're getting places right now. Check it out. So adding a little bit more detail to this. Also did a little bit more of the lapis in behind here, bringing out a little bit more blue. I do plan to put in some more towers. It's not just going to be the square bit in the middle. And we're also, like I said, we're going to be bringing out this back bit here. And there's going to be some additional towers going in place. But I got a little bit of a thing going here. It looks really nice at night. We have a nice like warm glow in these little cutouts that we put in here. And we pretty much got a good portion of the roof done. So that's nice. But guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. We got ourselves a wandering trader, dude. Another one. We've been incredibly lucky uh, during these YouTube episodes. So I don't know what the heck's going on around here. Uh, but we got this guy. Undiny. I'm not sure who that is. We have a hay bale. We have a fairy in a jar. We have wheat. Uh, we have the Incredible Hulk, and we have our Ringtail Slime. Everything else after that, eh, mid. But well, let's take a look at what we got going on here. So, I don't really, I don't really play a whole lot of Undertale, but I know this individual is from Undertale. Looks like it's a one-layer skin. Oh no, it's got a little bit of thing back there. Not too bad. I got wheat that also looks like cheese. We have ourselves another hay bell. Just a little bit of a variation for Olivia. She's uh, part of the Twitch channel. No, she's not going to be happy with these guys. And then we got ourselves a fairy in a jar, which kind of reminds me of Navi. And if you guys know, well, you know, I'm Link. So I felt like I absolutely had to make that happen. But that's the new lineup. Everything else you guys have seen in previous episodes. And while we're at it, I guess I'll be bringing this guy back home too, since we're out of that again welcome to my second home so in today's video wait no that doesn't make any sense because i'm not starting a new video all right we back we back i'm gonna be buying a bunch of uh lapis over here we're gonna be doing a bunch of uh quartz pillars a bunch of quartz i'm sure you guys are fully aware of that because we are completely out of resources for our castle now this is a little bit of what i have going on here but while we're doing that, back and forth, I'm also going to be updating some Hall of Fame plots. So I'll, I'll show you guys a couple snippets on those along the way. All right, those Hall of Fame plots that I said I was going to get to today are now officially done. So we redid Minnie's plot to look more of like a library with a little like shelf up in here. I think it looks really nice. She's one of my moderators. We come up here. You guys can get a little bit of a better look. We did have to like do a little bit of uh, ingenuity to make things work here. But this is her Hall of Fame re uh, redemption thing looks slick and then the other one just down here was for dj the dude who wanted to have a little bit of a cave design this is actually the one that we're making uh the ascension for sorry i got completely lost for words but this is uh the king of freaks literally the spider ascension wanted a little bit of a cave design so we put this together but yeah, those are the new Hall of Fame additions. Speaking about new additions, we got ourselves a new wandering trader. So let's go see if we can go find him. We're not going to talk about how long it took me to find this guy. Anyways, let's get into it. What does he got for us? We have a Plague Doctor. We have a Miner Kirby. We have a Crocodile Miner. We have a Japanese Lantern. That's really cool. We have a Wax Seal of a Sword. We have Power Armor and a bottles of wine i thought this was really cool all right before i suffer let me show you guys like doctor bottles of wine 
which I thought these ones would be really cool to decorate like little bits and pieces of like uh, our restaurants and stuff we have the Japanese lantern which I think looks uh, spectacular you guys have already seen that guy we have Kirby with like a little minor helmet on and then the last but not least we have our sword they did the best uh it looked better on the site ain't gonna lie to you but it looks pretty cool there's the sword and i think that's pretty much all of it so yeah well it's been about twenty-five thousand trades later and i think we actually have enough resources to potentially make it through the day today so i got a little bit of lapis i have a little bit of this over here cooking for that and then i was even able to repair up some of my tools along the way but gonna head over to the castle and i want to try to map it out a little bit more obviously we've got a lot of work to be done check this out got a little bit more of our roof done here i'm running at a lapis i'm gonna stop complaining about it because i'm sure it's getting pretty annoying over on youtube i uh, got this guy coming out here got this guy coming out here gonna be carrying this stuff down and working out the back side on here and then we're gonna start putting in our towers and all that stuff but a little bit of an update bruh that's all i gotta say desperate times lead to desperate measures I'm going to be actually fortune threeing like all of our lapis that I basically have in the world. Bruh. Almost four freaking shulker boxes of lapis. I should have did this way earlier. We're thick with it. Rich. All right. Almost half a box. I think exactly half a box of, uh, of lapis, which is awesome. That will actually last us a decent amount of time moving forward. All right. So, got a good portion of the front of this uh, castle done now. Check that out. Look at that facade. Boom. That's a whole lot of lapis that I don't want to talk about. I think about 7,000-ish. I haven't done the walls yet, but let me show you guys a couple things. So, we got this little bad boy right here. Got some birch kicking in here. It's going to be a big door, obviously, if you haven't weren't able to already know that. We're going to have like a big door over here. Nice little balcony so nobody falls off because, you know, safety first. We got ourselves just a plain little floor in here, but that's not where all the magic happens. I got something to show you guys down here. Don't look at all the roof I haven't finished yet. Down here. So, what I have planned moving forward. As we walk into here, I'm going to build a doorway. I think this doorway is going to be completely open because I want to be able to see the floor and stuff. I want to make archways coming through here, and I want to make the interior of this place look like a greenhouse. So a little bit of a botanical garden inside of the castle. So we'll have like flowers and some greenery and we'll make like the top look like there's like glass up there with like a little bit of like sun peeking through. Like we'll create like a cool effect where we'll build a, uh, a greenhouse within a castle. Wow. I know. Crazy, huh? Uh, and then as we move, move our way back here, we'll have a archway right here that leads outside. Or we'll have like a, a, a like a staircase that kind of like wraps this way and that will be on all sides so we can have like an outside garden as well and then back here i've got something big planned but i can't tell you guys what that is yet because you know your retention and stuff you know but anyways if you guys like the episode please leave a like if you guys want to see some more maybe consider subscribing but until next time i hope you guys all have yourself a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next one Yo, what the heck? I just nailed that first try, dude.